welcome back to our channel and thank you for tuning in and thank you for supporting us and if you are new to this channel and you haven't subscribed yet please encourage us by doing so and we shall bring you the latest news as they happen and together we can work with our great leader Mazin Namdekano IPOB and Eastern Security Network to make our Biafran dream a reality. He say the terrorist Fulani governor of Kaduna State, Nasiru Aero 5, is very angry with IPOB and Eastern Security Network because they are the reason why the Fulani terrorists were chased out of Biafra land. After the Fulani Nigerian government and Buhari have concluded plans on how to distribute their Fulani terrorists, full soldiers, into Biafra, as they have succeeded in other regions in Nigeria through their evil political party. Imagine Claiming a whole tribe, that is Erufai, claiming that a whole tribe, a whole Biafran tribe, the whole of Biafran people, he calls them terrorists. And comparing IPOB, that is the indigenous people of Biafra, with terrorist Fulani bandits, terrorist Boko Haram and Islamic State of West Africa, the terrorist Fulani bandits and Fulani killer headsmen. They kidnap, rape, take over other people's ancestral lands, and they also displace the indigenous into refugee camp called Internal Displaced Persons Camp, IDP. They also collect taxes. You know, also, Terrorists, Boko Haram, and Islamic State, they collect taxes from Nigerians. They shoot down military, Nigerian military fighter jets. They massacre entire villages. They go to military barracks and kill soldiers and steal weapons. Whereas, IPOB and Eastern Security Network protects Biafrans and Biafra land against all mayhem and havoc caused by the Fulani terrorist killer headsmen and their bandits and Boko Haram. This is the reason why Biafran's displacement or this is the reason why Biafran's are not displaced like other Nigerian indigenous tribes in the Southwest and the Middle Belt and Houses and Northern Christians. That is why IPOB operates in more than 100 countries of the world because the international community knows that IPOB are fighting a just cause and they are asking for Biafran restoration. And this is not a crime as the Fulani Janjaweed portrays it, but a right recognized by the Nigerian constitution and international laws. According to report, the terrorist Fulani governor of Kaduna State, Nasri Erifai, have said that the term repentant Fulani bandit terrorist and Boko Haram is a misnomer and does not exist. You know, when the whole world, Biafrans, our leaders, have been shouting that the Buhari's government is only lying and deceiving people that Boko Haram or Fulani bandits are repentant. They are only doing that in order to integrate them into the military so as to continue their massacre. Now, the Fulani terrorist governor of Kaduna State have confirmed this. Erofai said that the goal of his state, Kaduna, is to 
kill Fulani terrorist bandits wherever they are found. This is just a lip service. It's an audio statement which it is intended to deceive the gullible. They're just using it to deceive the gullible. Erufa is not going to do anything because he is the chief sponsor of the Fulani terrorists. Erufai, who was in the villa, Asorok Villa, to brave Buhari on Sunday's attack at Gewa local government area of Southern Kaduna, Kaduna State, which left at least 40 people dead. Erufai said, there is nothing like repentant terrorists. It, the only repentant bandit Fulani terrorist is the one that is dead. He said it himself. You know, the hypocritical Erufai said that the Fulani terrorist bandits, if you want to call them terrorists, you can call them terrorists. But what he knows is that they don't want to confuse them with terrorists that are known. And that was when he compared IPOB with Boko Haram. Because he said the Fulani government have declared them terrorists. You know, Erufai said they don't call them terrorists. They don't call them terrorists. They call them Fulani bandits in order to deceive people. And now he's trying to link Fulani terrorist bandits with IPOB. They don't operate the same way. IPOB are freedom fighters. Armless. Unarmed freedom fighters. They don't kidnap. They don't kill. They don't rape. They don't take over other people's ancestral land. All they are fighting for is for Biafra to be restored. Erufai, being a Fulani terrorist chief sponsor, is just trying so hard to deceive the world that Fulani terrorists are not terrorists. They are just common criminals. In order for them to use the Super Tecano helicopter gunship to level Biafra land. But he has failed. He has failed completely. Aerofile lies were busted by Abo IPOB. The indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, has called the Fulani terrorist governor of Kaduna State, Nasiru Aerofile. Linking IPOB to terrorists and Fulani terrorist bandits as provocative and mischievous. IPOB said it remains a peaceful organization with global relevance, adding that Air Rufai has displayed utter ignorance by comparing IPOB with blood sucking Fulani terrorist criminals. IPOB assured Air Rufai that he would soon appear before the International Criminal Court in The Hague for allegedly sponsoring Fulani terrorist killer headsmen to clandestinely kill innocent people in Southern Kaduna. IPOB said Erufai's statement is not only provocative, but a mischievous display of ignorance for Erufai to compare freedom seekers with blood-tasty Fulani terrorists. Erufai should stop playing to the gallery. No amount of cover-ups can exonerate him from the ongoing genocide in Southern Kaduna by Fulani terrorist bandits. Erufai should cover his head in shame for admitting that he is paying mass murderers in Kaduna State. He should know that he has a date at the International Criminal Court. He will never escape that. IPOB challenged El Rufai to mention any act of terror committed by IPOB.
IPOB only crime against Aerofi and his fellow mass murderers is that IPOB refused to allow Fulani terrorist bandits and their killer headsmen any breeding ground in Biafra land. Malam Erufai should swear by their God that he knows nothing about ongoing ethnic cleansing of non-Fulani communities in Southern Kaduna and renaming of their towns to Fulani communities. It's only in Nigeria that IPOB, which maintains a presence in over 100 countries in the world, can be tagged a terror organization. But the world knows IPOB are not terrorists and don't intend to be. Thank you, my brothers and my sisters, for watching this video. And bye-bye for now.